and welcome to my YouTube channel where today I'm doing a really fun Christmas shopping haul collaboration with Argos to celebrate the launch of their Christmas gift guide which is in stores today and you should go and pick it up so you can get in the Christmas spirit just like me. And yes, I know it's only October but I personally think there's nothing wrong with getting excited about Christmas a little bit ahead of the fact. When I was growing up, Argos was a huge part of my Christmas. There were three things that meant that Christmas was coming. Number one, getting the Argos gift guide, going through it, marking every single thing that I wanted. Number two, the Late Late Toy Show, obviously. And number three was the RTE guide, Christmas edition. The Argos gift guide was such a huge part of planning for Christmas. And there was something about it that I really liked because you could just go through a whole load of different categories. So I used to mark like some jewelry that I wanted when I was a teenager. We were all really, really into those gold Elizabeth Duke necklaces with the little clowns obsessed. You could go through toys and electronics. I remember my first Walkman, that's how old I am, was from Argos. The reason I wanted to do this collaboration was because Argos has always been such a huge part of my Christmas and I just think it's one of those great places you can go to get presents for all the family, from kids to your parents to your boyfriend to your friends. So I went to Argos, I picked out the gifts that I'm going to get for my nearest and dearest and now I'm going to share them with you. So first up we have my nephews Nash and Bo. I'm a terrible auntie and I'm going to get them a joint gift but actually it's because I really understand them. So Nash is five, Bo is three, and Bo is at a stage where he is doing every single thing that Nash is doing. So I feel like if I get Nash a gift and I get Bo a gift, Bo's just going to want Nash's gift anyway. First up we have the Lego City Volcano Exploration Base. I know that the kids really, really love Lego, so I think this is going to be something that they're really going to like. Now, you may have noticed this says ages 8 to 12 on the box, but did I mention I'm actually a cool auntie, so I have to get them the kind of slightly forbidden presents? On a serious note, their dad is really, really into Lego, so I know this is something that he's really going to enjoy supervising them with. I don't think they're going to be left unattended. Argos actually released a guide to the top toys for 2016 and the Lego City Volcano series was in that. So I feel like I'm pretty safe in going, I trust Argos to know what kids want. And then because I'm super cool, I feel like you need the accessories for the Lego City Volcano exploration base. So first up we have the Lego City Volcano crawler. So this is just like a really cool digger. Who wouldn't want the digger? It looks a bit like a tank, but super cool. And then to complete the set, the Lego City Volcano helicopter who would not want a lego city volcano helicopter and then just to reiterate i'm a really really cool auntie and i saw this and just thought my sister deserves this we have the nerf tri-strike modulus gun this thing is insane there are like 1000 plus combinations with full system whatever that means you know what it means mayhem and they're gonna have such a relaxing christmas time with this next up we have chance chance is only i think about six months old so he's not gonna know what i get him but he still needs gifts, right? First up, we have something that I think he's gonna have to wait a little bit to get the full experience of. This is the Fisher-Price Coda Pillar. It's essentially a caterpillar toy. You assemble all the little parts and it crawls around the floor, but you can assemble them in different orders and the different ways you assemble them means that it goes in different directions. And the whole idea of this is to teach kids about coding. If I'd learned to code at the age of three thanks to a Fisher-Price toy, I would be rich by now. You know kids love things that they can crawl around the floor with and then he's learning things. So hopefully this should get me back in the good books with the parents. And then because I wanted to get him something that he could enjoy now, I also picked out this by Chad Valley Toys from Argos. It's essentially a really cute, big, cuddly playmat with all of these different kind of interactive pieces. You know, the way kids love things you can make noises with and oh, I didn't even know that squeak squeaked. This will be a really good one for when the rest of them are killing each other with the nerf. The great thing about buying toys for kids from Argos as well is that they operate a toy price promise. So essentially they're guaranteeing that you won't be able to find that toy for cheaper anywhere else. But if you do, they will refund you the difference. So I think that's just a really nice peace of mind type thing. Two thumbs up to that. Sticking with toys, but moving slightly away from children or maybe sticking with children and something for my child. This is the Wobble Wag Giggle Ball by JML. It essentially makes weird noises as it rolls around on the floor. And I think this is something that Quillon is either going to love or going to be terrified of. And either way, that's going to be really, really entertaining for us. Obviously, I accept that my dog does not understand that it's Christmas. But what she will understand is that there are loads of things everywhere that she can destroy. So I'm hoping that this, with its loud noises, will distract her, at least temporarily. Okay, so that's the number one love of my life. The number two love of my life, my boyfriend, is a little bit harder to buy for. He loves a few things. Football, food, and tech. And I feel like the first two are kind of ticked off. He gets fed, he gets to play and watch football. So, tech it is. Of late, he's been obsessed with replacing his phone. Either with the iPhone 7 or with the Samsung Galaxy S7. In the past couple of days, he's read some really bad reviews of the iPhone 7 and he's decided that the Samsung Galaxy S7 is the way to go. And I found it for him at Argos. 
So here it is, the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now, I'm not a millionaire and I don't usually buy him presents that are 800 odd euro. So this is something that I'm definitely going to be going in with, maybe with his mom, his brother, his sister. I know it's something that he really, really wants. So I do want to get it for him. But like I said, I'm not like throwing cash around willy nilly. The great thing about buying it from Argos is that you get it SIM free. And I know that he's been thinking about getting out of his contract for a while. So I think this is gonna be a really good option for him. I'll also be doing up a little Christmas stocking for him. I obviously love my Christmas traditions. I'm like, yeah, Argos, the latest toy show, a little stocking and in that stocking he'll be getting a Terry's chocolate orange absolutely essential next up are my friends I always find these slightly hard to buy for because we're all at an age now where we buy our own makeup we have very particular taste in clothes it's a little bit more difficult how I like to think about it is what would I want first up we have my friend Claire we've been friends for 26 27 years now so she deserves a really good present for hanging around for that long and I've got her something that I'm pretty sure she will like this is the Fitbit blaze it's a smartwatch that can tell you how many steps you've taken, how many calories you've burned, your heart rate. You can sync it up with my fitness pal and put in your food, work out your calories. It's a really smart smartwatch. Argos have a massive selection of Fitbits. I have the Fitbit Alta and I know it's something that Claire has been really interested in when she's seen it on me, kind of saying that she would like to get them for herself. But the Fitbit Blaze I think is one of the top of the range ones, one of the coolest looking as well. And I do think she's going to get really great use out of it. And sure if she doesn't, I'll just keep it. Next up, my friend Kira isn't, I wouldn't say, into makeup. She wears makeup, but I wouldn't say it's one of her big passions. She's kind of into fashion, but again, I wouldn't be confident that I could pick out something that she would really love. But one thing that I know she has got really into over the last year is the gym. She goes and does a lot of classes, but she also does a lot of stationary biking. So I thought for the gym, a pair of wireless headphones. These guys are by Philips, who I know are a really great brand. Argos had a huge selection and I was thinking about getting her a kind of a flashier pair. They had some really nice gold beats, but I actually thought I'd be safer going for a dark color. Like, unless you're really sure somebody wants gold earphones, I think it's a little bit of a gamble. These guys are really straightforward. They're wireless, noise cancelling. They work via Bluetooth, so they're great if you're in the gym and you don't want to have, you know, wires and everything. So you can put your phone down beside you. One of the things that I really liked about these also is that you can actually connect a lead. If your phone is low in battery, you don't want to use Bluetooth and suck up the battery even more you can just go old school I thought these were great like I said I know Philips is a really good brand so I would be fairly confident that a they will do what they're supposed to do and b they will last a long time next up we have my mom what do you buy the mother who has everything she's getting to that slightly weird age where she's like don't bother buying me anything I have everything that I need and obviously I'm not going to not get her a Christmas present so I just picked out something small that I saw in the Argos gift guide and it is this the Bush classic leather look dab radio my mom has had the same radio in her kitchen for years and I think this is going to be a really nice option to replace it. She always has it on and also whenever she leaves the house she leaves it on for the dog which is so cute. But yeah I think she's going to really like this. Just something small, it's going to look really cute in the kitchen. Last but by no means least, my dad. My dad again is an impossible person to buy for. He sees something he wants and he orders it immediately. So I just thought to myself what would be a really practical gift? Okay it's the DeLonghi Cafe Corso coffee machine. And it's very heavy. But I do like giving people things in enormous boxes because then they're like, oh my God, what is that? And then they get you a better present. This coffee machine was actually the top rated on Argos.ie, which I think is a really nice comfort that you know you're getting something that people really recommend. And the great thing about Argos.ie as well is that you can click and reserve online for free. You don't have to pay. And then you can go in, pick it up in the store of your choice and pay for it then and there. My parents love their coffee. They drink filter coffee that they obviously make in the kitchen. But my dad is currently working on building a gyrocopter, which is, wait, a cross between a helicopter and a glider. Anyway, he's building a gyrocopter, so he spends an awful lot of time in his workshop. And my mum will probably kill me for this, but buying him one of these means he won't have to come up to the kitchen to make his coffee. He can make it in the workshop and hopefully get his gyrocopter finished quicker. I'm the best daughter ever. And like the toy price promise, on small kitchen appliances, there's a price guarantee. So if you see it cheaper somewhere else, Argos will refund you the difference. Although they pretty much guarantee that that won't happen. And that's it. I'm sure I'll be picking up a few more things from Argos between now and Christmas, but that's the main bulk of my friends and family shop. You can pick up your Argos Christmas gift guide in any Argos stores today. You can shop my entire Christmas list on argos.ie. All of the links are below. And you can of course pick up your Argos catalog at any time of the year. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it's so early for a Christmas shopping haul, but honestly, I don't think there's a bad time ever to get in the Christmas spirit. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, do nothing. Only bad people give thumbs downs. Subscribe for more content and hopefully I will see you soon.